What does an 170-year-old ghost story have to do with our use of the pine tree, a cherished seasonal greeting, and the traditional Christmas turkey? Listen and find out. Christmas in England prior to 1850 was much more uneventful than today. It was one of just the many holidays celebrated and had its name in the Yule, meaning midwinter. This main tradition was to burn the Yule log to chase away the evil spirits and encourage the return of the sun in spring. With the arrival of Christianity, the church managed to make the Yule represent Christ. During this period, parties were sometimes thrown. The Yule log still burned, but overall, it wasn't really much of a holiday at all until the arrival of one man. Inspired when he attended a charity event as a speaker, Boz, as he called himself under his pen name, threw together a mishmash of Christian morals, pagan rituals, and the paranormal. As Boz was writing his story, he would wander through the dirty streets of London during the Industrial Revolution era, where there was a sharp division between the wealthy and poor. Laughing and crying as he wrote, he later said he would do it at a time when all sober folk had gone to bed. He finished his story in a matter of six weeks. During this time, his diet consisted of two tablespoons of rum flavored with cream for breakfast, champagne for lunch, and for dinner, he would drink a raw egg beaten into a tumbler of sherry. People either saw him as a madman or a literary genius. It turns out that that story was an immediately a huge hit and books were sold out by the third day. Almost overnight, Boz had made the greeting, Merry Christmas, and the Christmas turkey into a tradition. By the popularity of his novel, he influenced Queen Victoria and her German husband, Albert, to introduce some of his Germanic culture into this newly reborn holiday, which included the Tannenbaum, or Christmas tree. Boz's story itself was about a wealthy greedy man haunted by spirits and introduced the character of little Fred, a sickly poverty ridden boy. Now if that sounds vaguely familiar to you, it should. You see Boz, at his last moment before publishing, changed the name of that poor boy and the rest is history. His story not only set in motion the beginning of Christmas as we know it today, but also added a new term to the English language, named after the main character. That character was called Scrooge. Little Fred was renamed Tiny Tim. The story was called A Christmas Carol, and Boz's real name was Charles John Huffham Dickens, or as we know him today, simply Charles Dickens. And now you know the rest of the story.